Hello and welcome back. Today Patrick and I have another £200 worth of 10ps. We're going to have a hunt through looking for the alphabet 10ps. I'll show you the progress we've made so far. Let's see, you can see. We've got A, C and E. J, L and M. S, T, no. S, P, Q, N, O. X, Y, Z and Y. So let's hope... I really want the R just to finish off that panel. But let's hope we get more like the last time. So, do you want to pick a bag or do you want me to pick the bags? You pick them. Okay, I'll put them in the bottom. There we go. So, let's get into the bags. So let's jump into the questions. So these are questions from my 10K giveaway. We're about halfway through the questions that were posted on that. Um, so, the first question comes from Pietu Niemi, uh, who asks, what is your opinion on collecting from countries that no longer exist? I think it's quite exciting. If I get a country that doesn't exist, I add it to my collection. It's quite fun. But then again, I collect all coins I can get my hands on. So, yes. Uh, Pollyanna11 asks, do you prefer round coins or polygon-shaped coins? Uh, I guess I see a lot of round coins, so any sort of different shapes are always quite exciting to spot or find. So, maybe them. Tom Benny asks, where would you want to live most in the world? Um, I mean, I quite like living in the UK. It'd be nice if it was a bit warmer and a bit wet, a bit less wet and windy. Um, I always say if I win the Euro Millions, I'm off to the Bahamas to buy my beach house. Um, but um, I don't know, like Canada, I've got uh, Canadian heritage and I, I, like, I like Canada, so potentially there. Daisy asks, what is your favourite chocolate bar? Uh, I had a white chocolate Snickers the other day. Um, that was pretty nice, but... Um, Probably Snickers, I think. Uh, NUG Rules 86 asks, have you encountered any rare 5Ps? I think I've been sent some rare 5Ps to my PO box. Uh, well, the, like the territories ones, which are um, generally lower minted than mainland UK coins. Uh, but I've never found any in my change or in or from the banks I don't hunt 5Ps. Joshua Dawson asks, how rare is Isaac Newton? It's pretty rare. Um, it's not the one we see very often in hunts. I think it's around just over a million minted, up 1.2 min, million or something like that maybe. Or just a bit lower than that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, quite rare. But there's also the 2018 Newton, which was the Strike Your Own, which is uh, exceedingly rare. Philip Gasparek asks, do you have any cool Euro coins? Uh, so you will have seen last Thursday, I uploaded the first of the treasures from the PO box that WWE Alanandro sent in very kindly. There's a couple of cool euros in that, but I don't have other than that many other euro coins. Emily Marion asks, have you considered buying uncleaned Roman coins and cleaning them? Uh, it sounds like a neat idea. The problem is uh, I'm wary of cleaning coins because I know that when you're not supposed to. <laughs> so I don't know. I would be too worried I'd damage them. Um, but that does sound like a neat idea. I might even look into that. Let me know in the comments if that's something you think is a cool idea. Daniel Selwood asks, is collecting more is collecting coins more fun is collecting coins more fun than nodes? See, it wasn't that hard. Um, for me, I prefer coins, but I haven't had much I haven't invested much time or energy into collecting notes, and some people have sent them to the PO box and they look stunning. So um, I have been looking at a couple of lots on eBay just to see what kind of prices they're they're going for, and potentially it's something I might do in the future. Sarah King asks, how does it feel have, having so many followers? Do you feel extra pressure on you? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I mean, it's, it's fun, phenomenal. Uh, I think as of, as of recording this, we are on the cusp of 22,000 subscribers. We might even be there at the time this video goes up. But um, I don't feel any pressure to carry on making videos. I try and stick to my schedule. My schedule I arranged uh, a fair while ago. Um, and I think it's just about consistency. Um, and the schedule I drew up was one that I trialed before I actually announced it as a schedule. So, no, I don't feel under pressure because I know I can keep up with it. Um, and it doesn't take an awful lot of my time. I probably spend more time replying to comments and messages on the Discord than I do editing, editing, uploading, recording videos. Um, but also, whilst we're talking about that, big thank you to everyone that has subscribed. It's absolutely phenomenal. And my 20k subscriber giveaway will, might be out next week. So tune into that because we've got a whole bunch of prizes you guys can win. Isaac Aust Aust asks, what's the most expensive coin you know about? 
I know there's lots of old, solid gold coins that I imagine would be worth a fair bit. There's a 1933 penny that's at the Royal Mint. There's only like seven of them. Um, I know there's lots of other coins that there are very low, low minted amounts. Um, I don't know any off the top of my head though, or prices, I'm afraid. If I don't have, if I've not, if I've never had a coin, I don't know much about the <laughs> price or the rarity or whatever. Uh, Mallow Malob Live. Malob Live. So that's someone that actually comments quite a lot. So hello to you and thank you for your question. Um, asks, do you think any UK coins will have a design change or shape soon? Um, I don't think so. I'm not aware of any. It wouldn't surprise me if they do something with a two pound maybe, just where we're not. We haven't we had a whole year last year of none of them being circulated. Is that in preparation for something? I don't know. That's something I've, that's just come to me off the top of my head. Um, that's not anything I've heard or been told. Eben Jones asks, do you think your collection will ever be complete? No. <laughs> so um, there's always new coins being circulated. Um, there's countless amounts of worldwide of world coins that I could add to my collection that I've and there are I know there are coins that I will never be able to get my hands on even with if money was no object I know there are some coins I still wouldn't be able to get unfortunately but um, I still enjoy the hunt uh, laughter ah one of the moderators from the discord so hello June thank you for your question asks what was your best Christmas present this year oh that's tough it probably be, it's gonna sound really weird so it's a suitcase um, so prior to getting my suitcase it's got wheels on it I was carrying all the coins in a rucksack uh, which was not easy luckily I don't have that far to walk to my car um, from the bank so I would load up my backpack and I would waddle like a penguin all the way to back to the car and just hope I didn't get stopped by anyone um, or bump into anyone I knew that wants to stand around and chit chat whilst I had 1200 pounds on my back um, but the suitcase has been just a godsend because I can wheel it around. It, it, it's taken the pressure off of lifting it up on my back. Um, and I don't get back to the car um, feeling like the hunchback and, or the reverse hunchback of Notre Dame, I guess. Graham Wilson asks, do you prefer milk, white or normal chocolate coins? Uh, I, like, I really like white chocolate, but it is very sickly and I can't eat too much of it. I'm not a massive fan of... Do you say dark chocolate? Oh well, uh, I'm not a massive fan of dark chocolate, although I'd like a dark chocolate digestive biscuits, but again, I can't eat too many of them. Uh, normal chocolate coins, man, I could eat, I could eat bucket loads of them. <laughs> uh, Charlie Hodder asks, do you have any tips for new collectors? So this is a question I get, and I probably post an answer to it every fortnight or so, um, but I think it's, but I apologize for those of you that have seen lots of my videos, but there are lots of new people that have tuned in. Um, the subscribe count goes up. Uh, quite rapidly quite quick which is absolutely phenomenal so hello and thank you to all you new people um so top tips for new collectors i always say tell everyone you know that you're collecting coins friends family colleagues school friends teachers i've even heard of um, from other people because the more people you've got out there looking for you the more chance you have of finding that q gardens that rare coin um, and you don't want you don't want is your mum to have a really rare coin and then spend it and then she'll say oh i had a weird coin it looked like a, a little tower with these leaves around it um, you don't want that to happen, so tell them. Um, but also start start collecting what you can afford to collect. Uh, so maybe the 10Ps, I know they're quite elusive, but it looks like the 2019s are gonna be quite highly minted, so you've got a good chance of potentially finding them. Um, yeah, just check, maybe start by checking your change. If you've got a piggy bank, have a look through that, see what you've got. Um, and if you are lucky enough to have a bank uh, that will allow you to take some change out, um, take change out with them. And if they will do it uh, find out what works best for them because it's uh, it can become a bit of an imposition on them so I know I take out a lot of coins and I pay in a lot of coins but I found out when when when's the best time for my bank and I work around them as flexibly as I can around my work as well um, to, so that um, I don't know, be courteous be polite be kind I've heard of people when they find a really good coin a really amazing coin they bring a box of chocolates in for their um the, the bank tellers as a, as a way of saying thank you um, you know who you are, <laughs> Duvetto, <laughs> bribing your bank staff. Um, but yeah, so it, it, be nice, be kind, be courteous, uh, and don't give up, be persistent. Uh, Derek Harbour asks, where do you think all the Olympic coins have gone? 
I've got a few. <laughs> no, so I know I've got a fair few of them, um, but the collection I have barely makes a dent in the amount of them that were minted. I just think there are so many people that have collected coins, that have hoarded coins, um, that a lot of them are probably in collections, but there is still a lot of them in circulation. I still find in some hunts five Olympic coins, a couple of Olympic coins here and there, so they all do add up. So don't give up, carry on looking. Alex Baldwin asks, do you like football and who do you support? I don't mind watching football from time to time. I don't have the um, the uh, the urge to watch every game of a football team. Um, so my dad supports Liverpool, um, so I always I've caught the odd game with him um, watching them, and I, I kind of keep half in the know with um, football because um, not because I'm particularly interested, but because so many people are that it's good. It's a, uh, it's a great conversation to have if you've got even a basic understanding of football. Uh, it's, it's, it makes having chat conversations with people quite easier. Um, I do watch national games though, Engl England games, um, but if they're important, <laughs> maybe not friendlies. But yeah, that's about all the football I do. Kirsten O'Shea asks, have you always wanted to work in finances or did you fall into it? Um, so I graduated university in 2013 um, and my plan was to have a gap year because I didn't have a gap year between college and university so I was going to have my gap year after university before I got into full-time employment um, and that was the June I graduated by September I was bored out of my mind that was only three months of, of just like playing video games sitting around not doing a lot um, bored out of my mind um, so I, I started looking for a job and I found a company that was gonna that would hire me um, and I started with them in the February and I'm still with them now uh, but I can't go into too much detail as to my job bro um, unfortunately but yeah so I kind of fell into it I guess if there was a vacancy I went for it I got it Ian Ritchie asks why isn't Isaac Newton worth more than Q there's only eight times more so again, with the Kew Gardens, part of the reason it's so expensive is the media hype there is around it. So um, everyone knows Kew Gardens. Um, if it seems like even people that don't, maybe don't collect coins know about the Kew Gardens 50p. Um, so I think that's probably added to the value of it. It's why it's more money. It's worth more money than the European Presidency 50p, even though that's no longer circulated um, and a lower mintage. So boggles the mind, doesn't it? Laurie Thorpe asks, "Do you have any hammered silver coins?" Uh, no. Unfortunately not. John G asks, what would your ideal strike your own be? Ah, good point. So, strike your own is changing 1st of April of the Royal Mint. I am going on Easter Sunday, which is the 21st, I believe. I'm booked on the 2 two p.m. tour. Patrick's coming along with me. We're going to get there for one o'clock. So if any of you are in the area or want to come and say hi, feel free to come along and say hi to me. Uh, but my ideal strike your own it's got to be the Q Gardens, hasn't it? 50 years of the 50p, 10 years of the Q Gardens, 2019 Q Gardens. Come on, it's got to be happening, hasn't it? Daniel Hall asks, if you didn't have a YouTube channel, would you work at the Mint? I would love to work at the Mint. Um, <laughs> not only am I massively passionate about coins, about the whole process of coin minting. Um, have you seen house prices in that part of Wales? Oh my goodness gracious. You can get so much more for your money there than you can where I live at the moment. Uh, and where I'm looking to purchase a property at, towards the end of this year, um, I could get so much more for my money there. So I would love to work for the Mint. Um, I would love to work for the Mint and do my YouTube channel. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a word whilst I'm up at the, up at the Royal Mint. Uh, Vit uh, Vitani Strand, another frequent comment. Say hello to you and thank you. Ask what's best, Jemima Potterduck or Jeremy Fisher? Um, it's Jemima Puddleduck in terms of mintage, it's a lot rarer than the Jim Jeremy Fisher, but it's all down to personal preference, uh, with, with what design you like I guess, so you, I imagine there will be some people that like the Jeremy Fisher design more than the Puddleduck design maybe. Uh, Elior Gittings, another frequent commenter, I think, so hello and thank you. Uh, what is your favourite ship from Star Wars? Um, Super Star Destroyer, Executor or Executor? I think it's the executor. So Darth Vader's flagship of the um, what's it called, Death Squadron. I think it is in um, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I think it's an absolutely smashing ship. Uh, Tim Eldridge asks, "Where do you get your coin books from?" I get them from eBay. Search on eBay um, coin album, 
and it's one of the top results. They're only about fiver. Perfect. Chemically inert as well. Moosh round. Another frequent concert. Hello to you. Uh, did you think you would come this far on YouTube? Not in a million years. I thought maybe there'll be a couple of hundred people that want to watch these kind of videos. Um, not in the slightest thought did I think I would ever smash a thousand subscribers, let alone 10,000, let alone 20,000. I rocketing our way to the next sort of big milestone, 25,000. So um, no, absolutely no idea. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits and I'm incredibly grateful to you all. Uh, I know I say this in quite a few of my Q and A's, but it's things like the nice comments I get, um, the messages I get on Discord, the odd person will send me an email, will tweet me a picture, a message, um, especially if I'm having a tough day or it's been a long day and I just need to chill out for a bit. I look at the comments, reply to, I would still reply to the vast majority of comments, although a few days uh, late, but um, it makes me feel really happy, really positive. So massive thank you to you all. And especially so some of these people, I recognize the names because they comment on all the videos or they've got like a unique sort of um, icon, which sort of uh, sticks in my mind. Um, so if I don't, if you do comment a lot and I don't recognize your name, I apologize. <laughs> my memory's bad, but for some reason, some people stick in my mind. Next question comes from Martin Towers, who asks, which denomination of coinage do you like chasing the most? I would say the 10p probably. Um, I don't know how 2019, if they're really high mintage, how that will affect uh, the 10p hunts. But anyway, uh, Charlie Drysdale asks, do you play Newt Scamander in Fantastic Beasts? You sound like him. Newt Scamander. Don't know. So Fantastic Beasts, that's the Harry Potter ones, isn't it? So I have seen the Harry Potter films once or twice each. Not a massive fan of it. It's just not my kind of thing. Um, I haven't watched any of the Fantastic Beasts. Is that Eddie Redmayne's character? He's the only one I know. That's... Oh, Johnny Depp's in the new one, isn't he? I can't think of anyone else that's in it. Do I sound like Eddie Redmayne? Mm. It's the worst people to sound like, I guess. Uh, Malcolm Bennett asks, how much do you spend in a year? I imagine you mean specifically on coins rather than how much do I spend in general in a year. Um, so in terms of the bank runs, so that I take out £1,200 a week to hunt through, uh, but the vast majority of that, I maybe keep £10 a week from those from those hunts. The rest go back into another bank account, gets transferred back to the original bank account, I take it out again from there. So that is not £1,200 spent a week on coin hunts. It is the vast majority of it is the same uh, the same money but different coins if that makes sense um, but I have started buying this, the silver proofs uh, which are not the cheapest things on the planet but um, I'm quite enjoying buying them getting them videoing them showing you guys and you guys seem to really like them as well I also buy the London Mint office I get the in Flanders Fields and now the Churchill um, commemorative coins um, and they're 30 pounds a pop although the Flanders Fields I think we've only got three left the Churchill there's only three or four in the set in addition to the first one I got um, but yeah so I mean I don't spend a vast amount there are lots of people that spend lots of more, more lots more money than me on coins but I don't have that kind of money to spend on coins unfortunately Samuel Hope another regular commenter and and someone that I talk to a lot on the discord asks if you could have any superpower what would it be there's only one superpower that's worth having well there's one superpower that trumps all superpower and that is time control there's nothing you can't do with, with time control that you could do with any other superhero ability or whatever uh, so like you don't need to you don't need to run like the flash you just you just freeze time gentle walking pace then you run freeze time and it looks like you've run it in no time at all uh, I don't know who the power of flight you just pause time and you walk or you catch up you fly a plane plane or whatever uh, you never have to sleep you just pause time go to sleep wake up and pause time carry on your life immortality just free time forever you know you won't age you won't die <laughs> so anyway that's um my take on superhero powers i was actually talking about this the other day so <laughs> this is funny that came up simon langdon asked so what color would your lightsaber be oh it'd be red uh, i'm an empire kind of guy and um i don't know I'd, i'm not the kind i think so star wars is sort of an escapism for me um getting away from the real world and work and in real life um I like to think I'm a nice person, positive person. I try and help people. So in my escapism, I ally myself with the evil tyranny of the empire, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just like Darth Vader. 
Um, oh, how do I pronounce that? It's Isabella with a Z on the start. Is Isabella? Do you think you will continue collecting your entire life? I don't see why not. Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder, a bit of a collecting kind of person. I've always collected things, so I imagine I'll be collecting coins for a very long time. Dagsgrifts, Dag, uh, Dagrifster, another person spoke in the Discord. Hello to you. Us in your lifetime, do you think we will move to virtual currency? I would not be surprised if in my lifetime we moved to virtual currency. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were still coins when I'm 90 years old because um, we just have to see the the um, the backlash there was when they talked about removing one and two Ps and they've had to backpedal on that decision. So I don't see why there wouldn't be coins, but I can see why there would not be coins, if that makes sense. Um, we'll do a couple more questions. First one from Gauza99. What do you think of the Snowman 50p? So um, it's a cool design. It was before I started buying silver coins, so I haven't got one myself. Um, I think it's cool, like I said, cool design. I just get a bit annoyed when they mint coins for um, for collections rather than circulation because although I collect coins, I'm primarily a coin hunter. I like the hunt for coins. Um, so all these cool designs that have gone, that have been minted for collectors, but not in circulation, but we've still got 25 million Benjamin Buddies. Why couldn't some of them have been snowmen? Anyway. So we'll go one more question from Jack Ford asks, what is your favorite coin website to purchase off? So the only website I've currently bought coins from is the Royal Mint. I've bought a few from eBay, um, but I don't generally buy coins. I know that fellow CoinTuber, UK Coin Hunt's got his own website that he sells coins that he finds in his hunts. Um, but I keep the coins in my hunt, so I, I'm not planning to open my own shop. Um, so I'm not the best person to ask on that one, I'm sorry. <laughs> you might want to try someone else. But maybe you guys can let us know in the comments. If you buy coins, where do you buy them from? I know the Westminster Collection, uh, which is linked, I think, some way to Change Checker, uh, is another popular website that people go to to buy from. Uh, but I can't think of anything else. So we'll get back to the coins now. So a bit of a bust there. I got... This Croatian tuna fish, 2007 to and Patrick got the tomato plant, 1992 Guernsey. So nothing new for the book, um, but we'll have better luck next time, hopefully. So all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.